Come on in, come on in. Hello, it's, good evening, everyone. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. We've been out of pocket for a couple of weeks. Yeah, vacay. Yeah, well, we're back. And uh, where do we go? I don't remember where we been went. Been around the world. Well, I mean, we we've, we've been to Jamaica. We've been to Canada. We've been to Texas, and we've been home. Yeah. So, but anyway, it's been a good. I'm excited uh, about tonight and the topic that we're going to discuss. If you don't right. know, uh, my name is Jomo, and this is uh, Charmaine. <laughs> Did I do something wrong? No. And uh, we've been married now 26 or 25. Long time. 26 years. 26 years. And our goal is we come together on Friday night, see if you real and raw, relevant conversation yeah. pertaining to relationships. I'm going to put that anniversary video up on the YouTube channel. Do that. Yeah. Do that. And uh, cool. let us know where you're streaming from. Absolutely. Let us know where you're streaming from. And we're excited for you to be a part of this family. Yes. Also, you can always go to our YouTube page, Jomo and Charmaine, and there's a plethora of videos with Absolutely. a multiplicity of topics that you can uh, galvanize through, laugh through, cry through, yeah. and go glean through. from Amen. all of that. Amen. So tonight we're going to talk about eight topics, and this was a psychologist identified eight uh, topics or eight areas. Uh, that helps successful relationships continue on the path of success. These are not Jomo's ideas or Charmaine's ideas. This is just a uh, psychology put them together. And we right. are just talking about what they talked about. Right. So number one. Number one. Effective communication. Can we talk? Yes. What's cool? Go ahead, Mama. Oh, I was just going to say, this has been something that has been an ongoing challenge for us throughout our relationship. Communication Absolutely. is so important. Absolutely. And as long as you don't get frustrated in the process, because it's always going to be a process um, of, you know, trying to perfect it, but never really perfecting it. Because you're always going to have to work at communication. Because we learn, we grow, we mature. It, it's so challenging. It is, we, because we, you think after a certain amount of time, you know the person, so you all. guess things, yes. and you guess wrong. It's, it's, here's a perfect example, okay? Two examples within a week, okay? And I laughed. So we were, we uh, maybe two nights ago, she got these nachos and uh, cheese sauce. I mean, and when I saw them, it reminded me of the movies. So I, see, so I started picking movies. Now, she didn't know I was picking movies, but when she came in here, I had movies ready. I knew we was going to sit here eat nachos because her thing was she likes these really hot jalapenos. Now, another story was when we were in college, I didn't realize <laughs> what she liked. were hot. Were hot. So it just tasted good. Man, my big ball head was just uh, we, dripping with sweat. We are in the movie theater. And I like to put one jalapeno on each She won a jalapeno per chip. And these jalapenos at this particular movie fire. theater was so good. Like, they were, like, just fire, fire in good. every good. bite. I mean, it was the seeds in them. And you oh, know, yeah. if you're eating the seeds, you are eating fire. You're eating fire. So I'm eating the chips. We're dating. All of a sudden, we're dating. We're dating. All of a sudden, I look over, and he is drenched. Like, he just ran a scared. marathon. I and he scared. looks over at me. Like, why are you sweating listen, like that? Listen, He's you, like, these are hot. <laughs> you ain't going to pump me, no. You ain't going to pump me. You know what I'm saying? If you want to go hot, I'm going to be with you. So, anyway, get back <laughs> to the story. That was a funny story. We, uh, so, we were watching movies, good movies, too. Right. We, and in the process of time, I had been giving her, uh, after the nachos, I gave her these almond M&Ms, right? Mm -hmm. So, she put her hand out. I put it in her hand. Then she put her hand out. I put it back in her hand. The third time she puts her hand out. No, and no, I, no, that's no. not how it happened. Well, that's how it happened But to go me. on, go and, on. And then she expected, uh, I gave her, I, I was going to hand her M&M's, but I misunderstood. I just thought it was more M&M's, the hand would make M&M's. And I realized so many times when we don't articulate with words, we kind of read. And you can read wrong. Right. And, and so, you know, it happened, uh, I think, to, uh, two days ago. We were outside doing some yard work, and she gave me her hand, and I, I, I gave her my hand, and she said, no, the scissors. So I, I, I just asked him yes, for I, the scissors. I just, and it's hard. He said he was going to get the scissors, yeah. so when he came to me. You read wrong. I was holding my yeah, hand. Yeah, so sometimes you just, 
you put, you make gestures and you assume and the other person assuming one thing and then there's a poor communication. So the gist of it is communication is imperfect art and you're always working on it. You never perfect it. So you have to kind of have a certain amount of grace when a person reads wrong, hears wrong, misconstrues, mm -hmm. misunderstands, or even says it wrong. The key of communication in your relationship is this. How are you doing? How are we doing? How can I help you? Meaning, have meaningful conversations. Right. You know, how can I join you this week? I think with the communication as well, um, not just listening to respond, but listening to hear. And a lot of times we'll hear one thing that triggers us and then we totally niche the rest of the conversation. Mm. We don't hear anything else because one thing triggered us. So really listening to what your partner is saying, not to respond, but listening to really understand and then repeating what you heard before you respond is going to be a key to communicate to better communication. Because if you just assume you heard right, you could be responding in a negative or wrong way. And that's not what they were asking. And they may have given you like they may have communicated poorly, but at least you're giving them opportunity to correct themselves before you respond. So key points. Number two. Number two prioritizing quality time if everything's important nothing's important right if everything is important nothing's important meaning you have to prioritize what's important or life will take over mm -hmm. so we try to take trips we try to do our date nights we're not masterful at it but we try to mm -hmm. be intentional with our quality time because you'll realize that you will raise your kids, they will leave, live their life, and you will spend all your time serving these individuals right. who leave. And you they leave, and you don't even know each other anymore because you had invested everything you had into the kids. Mm -hmm. And you never spend time learning each other, growing each other. Right. And so you have to make sure that you make, you set aside, you can't make time, but that you prioritize mm -hmm. date nights, time together, mm -hmm. conversations, because if not, your relationship will fly by and you don't even know the person. Right. You definitely want to balance your life. So make sure, I, I know one of the things that I try to do is put everything on a Google calendar and I color coordinate them based off of the type of task it is. So if I'm top heavy with work or top heavy with you know friends outside of my relationship, you know, um, there's no family time with the kids. I will try to even it out with other things. So just make sure you're um, intentional about your time and where it's being spent. Because a lot of times we'll think we're spending time with our spouse and career is taking over. Or, you know, um, little league games or extracurricular activities for your kids are taking over and you're not prioritizing the time for the relationship, which is really important. So, amen. Yeah. Number three, regularly, regularly, regularly. <laughs> regularly. Yeah, that's the word. Uh, consistently. Okay. Um, give gratitude. Be thankful. Yeah. You do this. You do this a lot. Well, well, again. You have to, the only way to get repetitive things in your life is to be thankful for what you do right. have. Right. And appreciate I mean, she'll buy dinner. I say, man, it was great. Thank you. Or she'll make dinner. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I always try to, it, people don't have to be nice to you. Right. People don't have to give you their time, their energy. They don't have to make you a meal. They don't have to lay down with you. They don't have to have sex with you too. For real. They, people don't have to do anything for you. Right. So you need to be, I, for me, it's so much easier to be thankful because when you're thankful, you're grateful. Mm, that's good. So for me, it's just simple. I, I want to make sure and actually research states, mm -hmm. those who are thankful in the relationships have better relationships. That's good. Because that's thankfulness good. will lead to repetitive behavior. Mm -hmm. Number four. All right. Resolve conflicts in a healthy way. Right. Ooh, that's the key point. 
Yeah, because, you know, with conflict, you can lose your temper or get emotional and then logic leaves and <laughs> you take over. Some people are out of control with with anger. OK, in the or chat. they get upset or they, you know, they say things they don't mean because they're trying to win. Mm -hmm. And it, we, we all know that's not about winning. How about this? In the chat right now, I want you to write, sometimes I lose my temper. Sometimes. Because we all, we all know somebody that uh, can run a little hot. Mm -hmm. And when they run hot, they, their words. Uh, Usually it's one person in a relationship. Like one person is real laid back mm -hmm. and then the other person. I'm glad like, I'm the hot tempered one in our relationship. Um, tick, tick, boom. Yeah. You know, like. Oh, that's me right there. I'm tick, tick, boom. Yeah. So. She's calm and mellow. Just. It's, I think that when we're talking about conflict, it's very important for you to do the four P's, pause, ponder, pray, proceed. If you pause, it gives yourself a second to figure out what is the right thing to say in the moment or realize you can't say anything in the moment. You need to give yourself some time to really feel like, really realize whether it's your emotions that have taken over and it's really not something that you should argue about or how you should approach it in order to get the best outcome. Yeah, yeah. Key thing is listen. Mm -hmm. After you listen, express or listen and then make sure you articulate that you heard what they said. Mm -hmm. You express yourself and then find a healthy way to move forward. That's good. All right, all right, all number right. five. Cherish little things. A hug, a kiss. We do this you know, regularly. Squeeze the like, booty. We'll look at each other sometimes in the house and we'll just start hugging each other. Like, give me some energy right now. It's hard. Yes. It's small things, yeah, man. You know, walking the dog. Yeah, holding hands. Taking the dog out in the morning. Little things. Small things. Whatever. <laughs> Number six. <laughs> Be a cheerleader. For your spouse's goals and dreams. Be an exhorter. Push. That's so good. Listen, no, no one should cheer for your spouse harder right. outside the house right. than you do in the house. Right. If there's bigger cheerleaders outside their house That's than a inside, there's a, there's a problem. Yeah. You should be on their team. Yeah. Ride or die. Right. And if not, there's going to be a problem. Right. And I think this goes back to, to making sure we're all in agreement with decisions that are being made. Mm -hmm. So like when we have come to a conclusion on a decision that we're going to make as a couple, I'm going to be the biggest supporter of it because we've agreed. There's been a good, yeah, we're going to rock with it. Yeah. Whether it's good or bad. And we've made good some decisions bad. that weren't good and lost some money or and lost we're some friends. we're supportive of each other. Yeah. And, and there's some decisions that we made that we made a lot of money and, and Right. Listen, it's part of life. We're, we're going to ride together. We're, we're going to win together. We didn't and lose any friends that weren't supposed to be lost. Boy, look at that word. Because mm. 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 okay. real friends are there. Ooh. <laughs> Two snaps at a circle, hunty. <laughs> okay. Uh, number seven, respect each other's individuality. You know, sometimes in a relationship, if you're not careful, you try to change your spouse mm. to make them be more like you. Right. But the reason why you got with them is because they're they not. They weren't like you. So, exactly. you know, I have been frustrated in seasons of my marriage with my wife. Mm -hmm. And of course, she's been frustrated with me. But I always go back to this is a gift of something I didn't have. The Bible says that woman was taken out of man. Right. The rib was taken out of man. So a part of man was taken out to make woman. Mm -hmm. So when we come together, we're whole. It's good stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I need her. And she's my helpmate. Mm -hmm. And another word for helpmate is level up. That's good. She levels us up, right. brothers. So it's needed. Mm -hmm. And thus, she's not supposed to agree with everything. Right. I'm not going to agree with everything. But I understand us together is better than us apart, especially if we're supposed to be together. Mm -hmm. That's good stuff. And lastly... You got to learn how to forgive. Forgive again so you, so can, you can live, live again. again. Now, here's the key point. 
I'm not speaking of repetitive and detrimental actions to relationship. Hence, you keep cheating over and over and over again. And I'm just supposed to forgive you every time for the rest of my life. That well, ain't happening. Well, we, we weren't talking about cheating. But well, I, I'm bringing it up because it's a lot of couples that, you know, okay, this is the third time I'm dealing with this. And it was hard for me to get forgive the first time. It was hard for me to forgive That's the real. second time. And now I'm looking at you again and we're in the same spot again. That's I real. don't want to go through this again. That's real. And that's about So, again... When we say forgive, it has to be contrition. Right. Uh, and you're, there has to and be some repented. changes. Repent and some changes. Some repentance. In reference to what we're going to do differently. Right. And that's a part of the process. But right. forgiveness is normal because Jesus tells us if we don't forgive, he can't forgive us. Exactly. And Romans 3.23 says, for all have sinned, all have fallen short of God. It's none of us are perfect. Right. The challenge is it's not about not being perfect. To me, it's not consistently messing up mm -hmm. so you, you got to get better right and grow right so anyway no, that's, that's our good. word now here's a key point before we leave marriage and relationships mm -hmm. is a habit that you have to build in reference to consistently doing things to be successful right and if you build the habit over time you'll get into a regimen mm -hmm. and if you get the regimen before you know it, it becomes second nature Right. You know, I love cuddling with her. Real talk. And sometimes it consummates, and sometimes it's cuddle. Consummates. My, ah. people, my point is, I, lo I love fast. the process. Right. And I love to work. Mm -hmm. I mean, every day, even on a sabbatical, I'm working every I have a full work day because I love the process of right. working. I love working on my marriage. I love working on church. Mm -hmm. I love working because, see, work is your best friend if you if you make it. Because you get progress. Yeah, and that's what's all about. Work, you get progress. You Absolutely. move forward. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we pray that tonight blessed you. This was some great keys. If you could, go ahead to uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page, yes. Jomo and Charmaine. Also, uh, we'll be having some conferences coming up. It's going to be stupendous. Yeah. I owe my L.O.P. Love on Purpose 2025 is going to be Off on and popping. I got We're some special planning. guests. Yes. It's going to be amazing. Well, anyway, remember this. Love. Laugh. And learn. Have a wonderful night. God Have bless a nice you. night. Peace. Bye-bye, everybody. Man. Consummate. Aww. Well, that's, I'm trying to be proper, Sean, man. You told me <laughs> I'm educated. I got to use big words. So I'm trying to. Oh.